Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you some gameplay of the Evil Within 2 running on my PC, which has Ryzen 3700X processor and RTX 2070 Super GPU. So let me just show you my graphical settings first. So you can see that we can enable the infinite stamina mode, super strength mode, and the invincibility mode. It's basically enabling that cheat codes, but I won't be enabling them. Let me just show you my graphic settings here. Resolution has been set to full HD and i think i need to go to the advanced settings yeah here it is okay so overall quality will be set to ultra and just scroll down so that you can see all of these settings i have also enabled the msi afterburner software here so that you can view the gpu and cpu temperatures you can also see the system ram and the gpu vram used this is the fps counter I have kept the FPS at 141 to make the best use of G-Sync. So let's just start our game. I'll just start a new game. I have previously played uh, part 1 of this game as well. So Evil Within is a psychological horror game. It focuses more on the stealth elements rather than just going out and killing anyone who stands in our way it resembles a lot to Resident Evil games I've heard that the performance of this game on PC is not that good alright so this is a chapter 1 no no this is not happening our house is on fire. I'll be playing the game in third person mode. First person mode is also available. The graphics look gorgeous. Oh God, Lily! So our daughter is stuck in there. Need to save her. Damn it! I'm here! Where are you? Oh god, is she upstairs? Okay, so she's on the upper floor. I can hear her screaming. How did this happen? I'll go upstairs. <coughs> I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. I'm here, Lily! I'm here! Yeah, I think this is the room. Lily? Come on out! Lily! Where are you? I'm here! Dad's here! You weren't here for me, Dad. Something's not right. No! Oh my god. No! What a nightmare. The game continues the story of Evil Within Part 1. Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. 
You sound just like that psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. So Sebastian was a detective and Kidman was her subordinate in part one of this game. I'm here because of this. It's our wife and daughter. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead. I read the police report. I was at her funeral. We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive, and she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. So Kid Ben is working for a secret society, it seems. Let's see what's going on here. They need Sebastian. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new... and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? <clears throat> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them. And STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. So Lily is the core of this STEM machine? It's your choice. 
इट्स बेसिकली है माइंड वी आर आस टू गो फाइंड हर इन दिस मशीन लेट्स सी वट हैपन्स And please try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. and someone else will be in there for you Are you ready? Be careful in there Sebastian. We're counting on you. Stem entry in three, two, one. So this stem wall is not real. It's all in our mind. I really like the cinematic presentation. I think we finally reached. Look at the details on the character model. Yeah, now the game has started. It's way too dark in here, and there's a house. Lily is asking for help. Dad, oh my God, it's on fire! I'm coming, Lily. Dad. I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no. I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. Is this place. Detective, we've got a call. It's that mental hospital. This is where the game was based in part one. A phone call. Who's calling in here? What is this place? Hello, Sebastian, are you there? Kidman, what? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? So this world is based on our subconscious mind. 
There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. Okay, need to find them. Searching for Lily too. Union. This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. So chapter two starts now. Let's just go outside. A cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. A slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? We can view these slides in the slide projector in our room. Okay, so green gel helps in increasing our ability. Basically, we buy these abilities using these green gel bottles. Thanks, Kitty. A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? <sighs> Here we go again. Into the looking glass. So we use these mirrors to teleport from one place to the other. Oh no! <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? So this is Sebastian's wife. Wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Sebastian is reminiscing about the past now. Is this the right place? What's this place? What it's a portrait. A portrait of a door. Oh my god, where did this door come from? I can hear some music playing. V to toggle flashlight. What the hell? Oh my god. That's one of the search team. Baker. Yeah, so we found Baker, one of the team members. Whoa. 
Oh my god, what is this field? A team leader. One bullet. Straight through the head. Someone made his death a showcase. Let's just move forward. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. There's a secret path here. Yeah, I think I'll go in this direction. Phone is ringing in a place like this. Hello? <laughs> Shit. What a creepy laugh. Who is that? Let's just go upstairs. Just look at this entrance. Who's this guy? Oh my god. So this is the guy who's killing these people. What was that? Shit. Oh he heard us. Okay, we need to evade this guy. Who the hell was that? He left. He killed this guy. Just like the search team number. I gotta find a way out of here. A pendulum? Some dead bodies are hanging. There's that guy again. Oh my god. Christ. He cut these bodies into pieces and put them here as a display. Oh, this lift opened up.
Oh, oh my god, look at these bodies hanging in this room. Where did this fall come from? Now I do. Oh my god. There's a photo. It's of us. What the hell? <gasps> oh my god. Time to run. What is this creature? The creature is chasing us. That was close. Oh, it's still after us. I'll use the vent to escape. I can hear the creature laughing. Oh my god! It's trying to cut through the vent. It's back again. Be kidding me. I'll try to make my way to the end. Oh, there's that guy again. That's yeah, not good. It seems you have managed to escape. All right. What the fuck is going on here? So our health regenerates up to a certain point. We need to make sure not to take any damage to ensure that the health regenerates. Now where am I? Yeah, so it can be used to restore health. Hmm? We got a gun. Where were you when I needed you? So in the indoor sections we were Maybe getting above place. 100 FPS. Let's see how much FPS we get in the outdoor region. The graphics of this game look amazing I have to I say. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. 
There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are, it's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. We can use the herb to craft some medical items. So this is the map. Don't worry, Sebastian. This is just a small, quiet town. Yeah. Too quiet. Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. Talk about a psycho. I said eat. <laughs> they have lost their mind. We are going in. She is possessed. Fuck. Hopefully dead. Back to the gameplay. We got the green gel. Okay, it's gunpowder. It can also be used to craft ammunition. Let's just go outside. There's a herb. So in the other region I'm getting around 90 FPS. This box is in here. I can hear someone shooting right in front of me. Oh, these are the zombies. O'Neill, move! 
these are the team members okay need to reach to that place members some of them are still alive then damn but those things are everywhere need to get in there and squeeze that guy for info Okay, these are the stealth attacks. Sneak uh, behind the zombies and press at present when they are unaware. I can use these bottles to distract them. We can access our inventory through here by pressing the mouse wheel button. We can hide in the foliage as well. These are the stealth elements that I was talking about at the start. That zombie got alerted. That was close. We'll try to take out this zombie. They noticed us. Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but... That doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius. But I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job. And my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No! A soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you. We're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... 
I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. So that's Lily's voice. She's asking for help. Is that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah. Okay. Can't hurt, I guess. So Liam is on our side and we can ask him some questions. You can see here. These are the different questions. So guys, I'll end the gameplay video here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.